Good morning. This is your 815 Daily Operations Weather Briefing as we come back from the holiday. Back to a typical summer day. We'll, we'll see some warm and muggy conditions, and we'll have that slight chance of an afternoon shower or storm. Right now, we're looking mostly cloudy out there with light and variable winds. Take a look at current surface analysis. We have a surface trough off the coast as well as a stationary boundary just west of the area. Otherwise, high pressure is in control over the area uh, with just a few boundaries. We take a look at the current weather. We have a few clouds at 5,000, a few clouds at 13,000, and then we have those mostly cloudy conditions as we have a broken deck at 25,000 feet. Winds are varying between the west to northwest and fairly light around three knots, temperature at 82 degrees, and the relative humidity is at 74%. Quick look at the local radar. We did have a few showers passing uh, just south of the Wallops area this morning. We can see the shower still lingering on, but not expecting any issues from that as it continues to move off to the east, southeast. I did see some lightning with that, but no lightning warning or advisory local locally this morning. If we look at the current visible satellite, we can see lots of clouds in the area. Again, it's mainly high clouds. We do have a few low and mid-level clouds. We'll see those clouds stick around over the next 24 hours. If we look at the short-term high-resolution model, see how things play out today. Again, as we go through the day today, we'll see dry conditions to start off this morning. As we get past the uh, noon to 1400 local time frame, we'll start to see a uh, chance of some pop-up showers. You can see models indicating mainly north of the Wallops area, but uh, still seeing some of those showers close enough uh, to where we could see a uh, light, light to moderate thunderstorm here locally at Wallops. If not, could see one close enough to issue a lightning advisory or lightning warning as we go through today today. That should start to wrap up as we get into the evening hours with things drying out, but we'll keep those high clouds around. We'll have a chance for some mist during the morning hours as we go into the day on Thursday. And then going into the day on Thursday, we'll see, once again, a chance of a few showers and storms in the area. Again, during the afternoon, mainly late morning into the afternoon, that we should see that start to wrap up as we go into the evening hours. Once again, with a chance of seeing some misty conditions to start the day on Friday. And then as we go through the day on Friday, looking mainly dry as we go through the day Friday, we'll just see a very slight chance of an isolated shower, uh, mainly later in the day for Friday. So if we look at the 24-hour weather risk chart for today, expecting temperatures to climb to a few degrees above average, around 88 to 89 degrees this afternoon. We'll see that heat index around 95 degrees for the afternoon. We'll keep those winds fairly light out of the westerly direction and then shifting out of the southeast as we get into the later part of the afternoon around five to ten knots pick up that yellow risk for precip and lightning as we get to the afternoon and early uh, evening hours again that's mainly after the 1400 local time frame is when we'll see our better chance uh, with chances gradually increasing as we get past the noon time frame we'll see that should be wrapped up by the 1800 local time frame but again we'll keep some clouds around as we go through the evening hours, mainly high clouds with a continued few low and mid-level clouds. And we'll see those winds become light and variable. It's going to help give us a chance for those reduced visibilities with some misty conditions. We'll see that temperature cool down to around 72 degrees. And again, we pick up that yellow risk for those reduced visibilities for those morning hours with those misty conditions. Tides are running normal at the moment. Next couple days, Thursday, we'll see mostly the partly cloudy conditions. We'll see partly cloudy conditions late in the day. But we'll have that chance of showers and storms starting uh, likely by late morning into the afternoon. So we do have that yellow risk for precip and lightning. As we go into Thursday evening, we'll start off partly cloudy. We'll have a very slight chance of maybe a lingering shower early. But most of the activity should be wrapped up. And then we'll see a gradual clearing trend as we go through the evening hours. And we'll have that chance of some mist before sunrise with a low around 72 degrees but expecting green conditions for our weather risk. And as we go into Friday, we continue with the green conditions. Overall, for weather risk, we'll see mostly sunny to partly cloudy conditions and just a very slight chance of a shower late in a high around 85 degrees. With that, we'll wrap up the 815 Daily Operations Weather Briefing. We'll be back again at 10 a.m. Take a look at the extended forecast. Enjoy your morning.